All right, you guys, I got some diced up steak. I am going to be making some steak tacos. I figured I would bring you guys along to kind of see how I'm making dinner. So I'm starting with my steak. I also have some um, fajita mix that I'm going to go ahead and throw into this pan and kind of saute while my uh, steak is cooking. I need to add in some seasoning because your girl does not like plain meat. I'm going to add in some garlic salt. This is just the brand that I get. I've been using this for years and I it's like a staple. It's a must-have seasoning for me. So when I sprinkle, I'm going to just sprinkle like this. I don't measure anything, you guys. I'm not a measurer at all when it comes to cooking. Uh, I will show you quickly. Um, this is the steak that I got. I have to wash my hands again because I just dug it out of the garbage. But um, this is what I used. I got this at Walmart. So I got two packs of these. So it's about two pounds of um, chopped up cubed steak. So I got my garlic salt in there. Then I'm going to add in a little bit of this seasoning. This is another must. Mm -hmm. I'm not going to do a lot because the thing with this it can kind of get a little overpowering and I feel like it can make your food a little too salty if you do too much. So that's one of the things I wouldn't just go crazy with. So I have that added in there and then I like to add in a little bit of some seasoning salt. I just get the lower sodium one. I'm sure it really doesn't make a difference. Salt is salt. <laughs> so I'm just going to do a little bit of that. And then I like to add in, whoop, seasoning is falling out, a little basil. I'm saying a little, but I sprinkle. I'm, I ain't gonna lie. I'm a little, uh, uh, I can't think of the word gracious with that. And then the last thing is I'm gonna add in some Mrs. Dash. Focus. This is another staple. And you guys are gonna hear the crazy kids. So now that I got that added, it's starting to cook down. I'm just gonna stir it up some. And the thing is, once uh, my meat starts to cook, I might even go back in and add a little more, more seasoning once it's cooked th down some. Uh, I'll just like taste it a little bit once it starts to cook more to see if I need to add in more seasoning. This sort of looks like ground beef, but I can promise you this is cube steak. I feel like this is a quicker way for me. You could always buy like skirt steak and chop it up and dice it to what you want, but Walmart, they sell it like this and this just helps speed up dinner a little bit better. Now I'm gonna put this on about medium heat. I got my oil over here. I'm just gonna add in some olive oil, just a little bit. I'm gonna let it heat up for a second and then I'm gonna add in my veggies. I guess with these, since I'm using this, I don't always put these in my steak tacos, but I'm, I bought these because I wanted to do fajita style. And again, you can cut up your own, you guys. I just like to make dinner as quick as possible, yet still being delicious. I do like to add a little seasoning to my veggies, so I'm just adding in the Mrs. Dash, and then a little bit of the garlic salt. Not a bunch, just a tad. And I'm gonna let this go ahead and cook down some. So Lakin does not like tacos, so what I do for him whenever I'm making me tacos, I make him nachos, he loves nachos. So I'm gonna put together some Doritos, he likes Doritos with his, and then I'll just do kind of like the same thing what I put on my taco, I'm gonna put it on Dorito chips with some cheese for him. This is how you want your veggies to start looking. So nice and grilled and sauteed. They're almost done. Couple more minutes, because I don't like hard veggies. I like mine to be a little bit more on the softer side, especially for taco toppings. So my steak is pretty much done. So I'm gonna add in just a bit of some taco seasoning. I don't do a whole lot, just enough to kind of give it a more um, browner um, color to it.
These are the tortilla shells I use. I just get the mini street taco size ones. I prefer these so much more because I'll eat a couple of these. I also get them flour, but I honestly prefer... I sometimes get them in flour, but I honestly prefer corn tortillas over flour any day. I got my lettuce all diced and cut up. Yes, I use a knife. I, I know I could just pull it apart. And then I just got some uh, mozzarella cheese that I'm gonna put on top. Um, I normally use a different cheese. I use a uh, Mexican cheese, but they didn't have it in stock when I went to Walmart the last time. So mozzarella will just have to do. You guys will have to leave me a comment below if you like your tortillas warmed up. That is like the best way. I like it to be a little kind of um, charred. <laughs> um, if I had a flamed stovetop like gas, I would just put it directly on the flames. Like that's how I've always made it. And I just love the taste of kind of like the burntness. You have to let me know in the comments, do you like your tortillas warmed up or not? My um, tortillas are all nice and warmed and heated to my perf to my liking. So I'm taking two of them since they're so small and thin. I'm doing two per taco. So I'm just gonna get them together. Come up with that. Just like that. Now I'm gonna start building up my taco. Mm-hmm, looking so good. So now I'm gonna go top it, <laughs> bring it over here and top it with a little bit of my lettuce. I don't like to do a whole bunch, just a little. I didn't dice this up that good. I got some rice that I threw together. Um, I didn't show that because it was a box rice, which it is what it is. So yeah, there's my tacos, I'm gonna add my rice and then I'm gonna add my last final taco. They make the biggest mess. Who else makes a huge mess when you cook? Um, now I'm gonna add in some cilantro on top. I prefer fresh 100%, you guys, but again, this was something else that was out of stock and I keep this on deck because I use this for many different things when I cook. So I like to sprinkle it all on top of my taco, even on my, my rice there. There you go. And then the last thing I am going to end it with, my sauce. Love the street sauce. Hands down is like a must on my tacos.